So going back to this Ferris wheel, we want to be 17 feet off the ground and then for the eighth time. So let's say that's 17 feet and we can get there in more than one location. We can accomplish that here or possibly there. Now we do want to be there for the eighth time. So let, let's count this out. So this is first around two, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So we're gonna be here for the eighth time. So I would probably focus on this right triangle like this here. And maybe what we can do is find this little red angle theta. Now we know that the hypotenuse here is 29. Now, how much would be th th this purple right there? What would be the length of that purple? Where we know that up here, this point has a height of 31 and this has a height of 17. So really we're going this vertical distance, 17 to 31 gives us 14. It looks like a uh, sine, right? We can go sine of theta. And so theta is sine inverse of 14 over 29, which is about 28.87 degrees. Now, how much would it be for this piece right there? You see if theta is 2887, then take that from 90 and this little angle right there should be about, what is that, 61.13 more or less. Now, I want you to see that the angle for us goes here. All of this orange, that is the angle that we must use uh, to reach a height of 17. So what I want you to see is that the orange angle is almost a full 360. It's just a little bit less. 61.13 degrees less than 360. And that's about what, like 298.87 degrees. And so now we can set up a proportion. We know that 360 degrees goes with 15 seconds. And we know that our angle is gonna be, what was it? 298.87 degrees. And that is with an unknown time cross multiply and then divide both sides by 360, that's about 12.45 seconds. But notice what this is. This 1245, that's only after you've done how many complete revolutions? Well, count this up. We want eight visits, eight. So notice here, if we reset this whole situation, let's go around the world one time here in green. So that's once around the world. And that's 15 seconds. And then let's go around the world again for our third and fourth visit. That's another 15. Let's go around the world again for our fifth and sixth visit. That's another 15. And then finally, our seventh and eighth visit is that additional 1245. So what we have to do is we have to add 15 plus 15 plus 15 uh, plus 12.45 which is how we got a final answer of 57.45 seconds. Here, we're gonna move a thousand feet along the edge of the wheel, like along the circumference. So we're starting here and we're gonna move along the edge over and over and over and over again until we've traveled a thousand feet. So this conversation has to do with the circumference of a circle. So recall, that the circumference of a circle is two pi r, which here is two pi times r, which is the radius. Uh, the radius is 29. So the circumference is 58 pi. So let's actually turn that into a decimal. And this gives us about 182.2 feet. So every time you go around this wheel, you've moved around 182.2 feet but we're trying to move a thousand feet. So what we have to do is divide. Let's divide a thousand by this number here. This is about 5.48. Now this number represents the number of revolutions. So we are gonna go around the world, not once, not two or three or four or five, but we're gonna do five full spins and then a partial spin. 
we should really ignore this five for now because the number of complete spins doesn't matter. What matters is the residual spin, this guy here. So we have to focus on 0.48 spin. Now, why don't you do it like this? Why don't we look at 0.48 as being about 48%. 48% of a full spin. Now, a full spin is 360 degrees. So what we should really do is multiplication. We should multiply these numbers together. We should take 48% of 360 degrees. And this gives us back about 172.8 degrees. So 172.8, would be something like right there, more or less. So let's actually draw that with a pencil here. So we know that this here is 172.8 degrees. What if I go like this here? And what if I go like that there, where this is 90? Can you tell me what this green angle is worth? Well, I do know that this is 90. So let's take 90 away from this guy. And that gives us back, what is it, like 82.8? So we know that the 82.8 is just this angle there. And then maybe now what we can do is focus on this right triangle. This hypotenuse is, uh, what is it, 29? That's the radius of the circle. And let's find this number right here, x. So we know that sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And we can multiply by 29. And let's go calculator here. And this is about 28.77 for the value of x here. But how high off of the ground would this be? The ground is down here below. And we're trying to go from here in green. That's where you are. And this is all the way down to the ground below. So how much of a distance is that? Well, let's see, here to here, that's 2877. And then from here all the way to the ground, that's gonna be 31. So we have to go 31 plus 2877. And that is like 59.77 feet. And I'll tell you why this number is reasonable because 5977 is close to 60. And we're actually like closer to up here, right? We're actually up there because this angle, 82 degrees, it's actually like closer to up there, you see that? So final answer, uh, about this many feet.